Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss the remaining objective questions related with the topic acceleration due to gravity and its variation. The first question. The acceleration due to gravity at the earth surface is 10 meter per second square. The value of acceleration due to gravity at the surface of a planet of Mars 1 by 5th and radius half of the earth is. The options are A. 4 meter per second square. Option B. 8 meter per second square. Option C. 12 meter per second square. And option D. 10 meter per second square. Now here. The acceleration due to gravity at the surface of the earth is given that it is, that is 10 meter per second square. Now we have to find out the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of a planet whose mass is 1 by 5th and radius half of the earth. Let us see how we can solve this. Now here the acceleration due to gravity at the earth surface is given. Now we know that the expression for acceleration due to gravity at the surface of the earth is g equal to gm divided by r square. And its value is given that is 10 meter per second square. Isn't it? Now the mass of the planet is given mp equal to how much? 1 by 5th is the mass of the earth. That is m by 5. And the radius of the planet is given. It is equal to half of the radius of the earth. So we can write rp equal to r by 2. Now the expression for the acceleration due to gravity of the planet is given by gp equal to g into. Instead of m, here we have to write mp, mass of the planet, divided by radius of the planet square. Okay. Now, substituting the value of mp and rp in this equation, we get g into, what is the value of mp? m by 5. So, m by 5 divided by r by 2 all square means r square by 4. Okay. That means we get 4 by 5 into gm divided by r square. But we know the value of gm by r square that is 10 meter per second square. Substituting the value of gm by r square in this equation we get gp equal to 4 by 5 into what is the value of gm by r square 10. So we get 8 meter per second square that is the answer. That means the option b is the correct answer. Okay. Now question number 2. The diameter of two planets are in the ratio of 4 is to 1. Their mean density are in the ratio of 1 is to 2. The acceleration due to gravity on the planet is. That means here the ratio of diameter of the two planets are given. That means d1 by d2 equal to 4 by 1. If diameters are in the ratio 4 is to 1, then what is the ratio of their radius? That is also 4 is to 1. So, R1 by R2 equal to 4 by 1. Now, their mean densities are in the ratio of 1 is to 2. So, we can write rho 1 by rho 2 equal to 1 by 2. Here we have to find out the ratio of acceleration due to gravity of that two planets. For that we have g equal to 4 by 3 pi g r into rho. This is the expression for the acceleration due to gravity in terms of average density of the earth. And from this equation we have g directly proportional to r rho. So we have g1 by g2 equal to R1 by R2 into rho 1 by rho 2. Substituting the value. What is the value of R1 by R2? 4 by 1. So 4 by 1 into what is the value of rho 1 by rho 2? 1 by 2. So we get 2 by 1. So the answer is 2 is to 1. That is option A is the correct answer. Question number 3. 
the depth at which the value of acceleration due to gravity becomes 1 by n times the value at the surface is r is the radius of the earth. Here we have to find out the depth at which the acceleration due to gravity becomes 1 by nth the value at the surface of the earth. Options are a r by n, option b r by n square, option c r into n minus 1 divided by n, option d r n divided by n minus 1. Let us see how we can solve this. Here we have to find out the depth at which the acceleration due to gravity become 1 by n to the value at the surface. That means the acceleration due to gravity at the depth is become g by n. That we have to find out. That corresponding depth we have to find out. How we can find out the value of d? For that, we have the expression for the variation of acceleration due to gravity with the depth is given by. What is the expression for the variation of g with the depth? g dash equal to g into yes, 1 minus d divided by r. Okay. Now, substituting the value of g dash in this equation, we get g by n equal to g into 1 minus d divided by r. Here g g get cancelled. We get 1 by n equal to 1 by n equal to 1 minus d divided by r. That means d by r equal to what we get 1 minus 1 by n that is equal to n minus 1 divided by n. So, d equal to r into n minus 1 divided by n. So, the option c is the correct answer. Now, the next question. A simple pendulum has a time period t1 when on the earth's surface and t2 when taken to a height 2r above the earth's surface. r is the radius of the earth. Then the value of t1 by t2 is. Options are option A 1 by 9, option B 1 by 3, option C root 3 and option D 3. Now here the time period of a simple pendulum on the surface of the earth is given it is T1 and the, the time period of the same pendulum at a height 2R from the surface of the earth is T2. Then we have to find out the value of t1 by t2. Let us see how we can solve this. Now, we know that the time period of a simple pendulum is given by t equal to 2 pi into square root of L by G. Isn't it? Now, from this equation, it is very clear that t directly proportional to 1 by root G. So, t1 by t2 equal to what we get? Square root of g2 divided by g1. Now here what is the value of g1? g1 be the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of the earth. So we have g1 equal to g. Now g2 is the acceleration due to gravity at a height h equal to 2r. That we have to find out first. For that we have the expression for the variation of acceleration due to gravity with the height is given by g dash equal to or g2 equal to g into r divided by r plus h all square. Isn't it? So that is equal to g into r divided by here the value of h is 2r. 2r plus r 3r. Here what happened? r r get cancelled. 1 by a square, a square of 1 by 3 is 1 by 9. So we get g2 equal to g by 9. Now substituting the value of g1 and g2 in this equation, we get t1 by t2 equal to square root of what is the value of g, g2? g by 9. The value of g1 is g. Then g g get cancelled. We get root 1 by 9. 
and that is equal to 1 by 3. So, this is the answer. That is option B is the correct option. Okay. Now, question number 5. The angular speed of the earth in rad per second so that the object on equator may appear weightless where g equal to 10 meter per second square and the radius of the earth r equal to 6400 kilometer is options are option a 1.25 into 10 raised to minus 3 option b 1.25 into 10 raised to minus 4 option c 1.56 into 10 raised to minus 3 and option d 1.56 into 10 raised to minus 4 now here we how to find out the value of angular velocity of the rotation of the earth at to which the weight of a body at the equator becomes zero. The weight of the body becomes zero means the acceleration due to gravity at the equator becomes zero. Now that means we have to find out the angular velocity of the rotation of the earth at to which the acceleration due to gravity at the equator becomes zero. Now we know that the expression for acceleration due to gravity at the equator is given by g e equal to g minus r omega square. Isn't it? Now, here the acceleration due to gravity at the equator becomes zero. So that the weight of the body at the equator becomes zero. So here we can put instead of g e, we can write zero. Zero equal to g minus R, suppose omega dash angular velocity, the acceleration due to gravity at the equator becomes zero. So here we can write omega dash square. So R omega dash square equal to what we get G. So omega dash square equal to what we get G by R. So, omega dash equal to root g by r. Now, substituting the value, what we get? Square root of, the value of g is given 10 meter per second square. So, 10 divided by, the value of r is 6400 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Uh, 10 raised to 3 meter. Okay. Now, if you solve this, we get omega dash equal to 1.25 into 10 raised to minus 3 rad per second. So, the correct option is option A. Okay. In my next lecture, I will discuss about gravitational field, gravitational field intensity, gravitational potential, gravitational potential energy. So, bye. Okay.